exercise love, where it is warranted, and punish where the law of nature demands punishment. Ye shall, further, remain within the laws of the creation in deciding justice for ye may not impinge upon the laws of the creation in that which has already been laid down for thy judgment in wisdom. Give unto him who asks of you, if the request is made sincerely, and turn thee away from him who asks of you in dishonesty to deprive you of that which is yours in order to elevate his own comfort and status. You have also heard, that it has been said, you shall love thy neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, exercise love and understanding according to the natural law of the creation, so that you act and feel rightly, according to justice and logic. Exercise love, where it is warranted, and despise, behavior, where the law of nature demands punishment. End quote. Does this mean it is wrong to feel angry and disgusted at the lies, deception and injustice which you may now recognize, witness and or experience on your manifested illusion? Not necessarily, if the anger moves you to do something to change it. What will you do first? Confer and commune with mother slash father God within you to find out just exactly what you have ability to do. Does this take days or weeks to know? You can know in an instant what you must do. If you have the desire and need to move quickly. Or it may take longer depending on your willingness to listen and intent to take action. Always it is your choice that which you are given of spirit within, whether you are willing to accept and act upon it or not. If, for example, you have opportunity through the speakers to be introduced to the Phoenix journals, you know within that things are not right upon your place and you hear about and are angry and disgusted at the hideous lies and deceptions shared with you, in an instance of recognition that there is truth here your spirit will move you to learn more by reading the journals. That is your first step, become informed with truth. Then what you do with it will be totally your decision. Hopefully you would be moved by your spirit within by what you found to at least share with all who would listen. Whatever else you are given by spirit to begin the change within self and upon your plane will be inspired within you by the gifts of talent given by creator slash creation. Herein we would like to also repeat a truth, as was wisely put by Commander Heaven, there are no victims, there are only volunteers. Ponder it. Amen. 6. Envy. We have already discussed what is envy under the laws of God and the creation previously set forth in this journal. It does bear repeating, though, for thorough understanding of that which makes it one of the deadly sins of human. Remember envy is a feeling of resentment or discontent over another's superior attainments, endowments or possessions. When one feels envious he actually feels inferior, because he has judged that the actions or attainments of another are, first of all, desirous for self and secondly, beyond the ability of self to attain or manifest. Dear ones, you can spend your entire lives and have, searching outside yourself for what is better than the lot you have created, but searching outside yourself for self-worth which exists within will only confine you to feelings of critical frustration for the lack of accessing your own spiritual creative potential. You must know, that all you have and are within your experience is what you have chosen to have and be. Why need you feel envy, instead of honor and reverence for another of what is your perception of outstanding achievement? Why not instead define what is outstanding achievement for self, by the degree of joy and spiritual knowledge and wisdom it offers you? How will you do this? Take back your God-given power by taking personal responsibility for all experiences within your manifested illusion. Ask the Father God slash Eden within you to show you that which you need to fulfill His will in honor, balance, harmony, joy, integrity, and truth. Then wait upon God slash Eden within to show you what are your unique contributions to the joyous, creative enfoldment of the one all that is. 7. Sloth. Let us begin by first defining what is sloth, indolence, which means, adverse to exertion, lazy, idleness, laziness, disinclination to work or exert oneself. What we have witnessed most upon your plane is the sloth of your God-given reasoning minds. This mind sloth is what has made you easy target for lies and disinformation. The reason is that you have fallen into the habit of letting others think and reason, for you, and by this mind laziness have found it easier to believe another's projection or opinion of what is truth rather than properly researching, by engaging your own logical reasoning mind with the Father within, to achieve knowledge and wisdom of what is truth. You see, in this way do you also shirk your personal responsibility by not recognizing your responsibility to seek and know the truth within. 
you once then further your sin by complaining and criticizing bitterly and thus casting blame outside yourself when the lie or deception is later discovered by you. You once still believe ignorance is bliss. Godly knowledge and wisdom accomplished and earned within is true bliss, precious ones. Ignorance of truth is an illusion that keeps you trapped within the living of a lie. You are not free and the truly sad thing is you do not know you are duped and trapped so then the chains can be brought about be ever so tightly, and by the time recognition of truth literally slaps your awareness awake, it is often most traumatic and too late, for you to extricate yourself until finally the death of the body releases yourself aloud anguish and horror. Is your true ignorance forgiven? Always. But now that you are becoming armed with knowledge and wisdom within of what is the truth, what will you do to change of the evil circumstances perpetrated by, or against, you? Will your mind slope become apathetic which is indifference? And then will you be overcome with the paralyzing hopelessness of despair and depression which is giving your God power to the Antichrist? We, your brothers, your hosts of the word of truth and light and wisdom which is God slash Adam and the creation, certainly intend to lessen the odds against you. Achilles, will you hear? Will you see? Will you accept God's hand of truth, of mercy, of love and of wisdom? We offer you the choice, precious ones, and the choice is yours to make. May the truth, wisdom and freedom of what is holy God's light within you be ignited in joy by your will, your choice, to serve the unlimited will of God slash Adam and the creation. So be it. There is also what is physical slow for laziness. This simply is often counterpart to mind sloth. If you cannot move your mind into awareness most likely your body will not be motivated either. It is simply inability to live or take in life. It is also unwillingness to take responsibility by taking action for making changes which would better your lot in life. Ones who are slothful would rather sit in quiet, or not so quiet, self-pity and blame all out there and therefore not take self-responsibility for his perceived lack. 8. Fear We have also spoken of the deadly sin of feeling a natural and excessive fear in the previous pages under, How to Recognize the Antichrist Within. We discussed that the Antichrist traps you in the illusion of what is future fear orientation. Let us define fear, 1. An agitated feeling aroused by awareness of danger, trouble, etc. 2. An uneasy feeling that something may happen contrary to one's desires. 3. A feeling of deep awe and dread. And for fun, let us define what is awe, reverential fear, dread mingles with veneration, respect or deference, and now we will define deference which is yielding to the will or opinions of another or respectful regard. By keeping you locked in constant agitation or uneasiness about what could happen, you are robbed of the present moment of life which is the now of eternity. Generally speaking, one who is fearful of future possibilities slash probabilities occupies much time in worry about possible consequences of a decision or an action and will also often procrastinate, delay, making the final choice. Let us define worry, 1. To be uneasy in the mind, fret. 2. To pull or tear at something with the teeth. 3. To cause to feel uneasy in the mind, trouble. 4. To bother or pester. 5. Worries, something that causes anxiety. So many of you have expressed or heard the phrase, I was worried sick. It is true that fear and its handmaiden worry can and will literally make you physically ill. Simply by imaging in your mind a picture, idea or horrid consequence, you actually manifest the realness of that which you fear upon yourself. Whether the actual physical manifested outcome occurs according to your worst fears, or not, you have suffered in your moments of fear and worry, as though it had occurred. Do you see? You are creating the worst, even if it be only in your mind through the emotional reaction of fear. Often the question is asked in earnest, well, if we are told, for example, that the probabilities are high that we could soon experience a devastating earthquake in San Francisco and or Los Angeles, are we not feeding the negative probability by believing it and thus ensuring that it will occur? We will answer in twofold manner. First, you must recognize the facts of truth of your present circumstances, that the planet, Mother Earth, is a being who has been poisoned by you, her guardians. She will need to cleanse herself, so this means massive earth changes will occur as a part of nuclear detonations, pesticides etc. which have been festering within her. Also, you have the mighty powers of Russian cosmospheres which naturally control the weather patterns, and which are able to detonate bombs already in place along your fault lines. 
So you have the agenda of your beloved planet who wishes only to be cleansed, and the agenda of the Dark Brotherhood working through the elite few to control your planet and that means to ultimately destroy much of the population in order to manage their domination more easily. Is information about lies, deception, and cover-ups perpetrated against you by these ones of the elite, which is coming forth through the journals, negative and therefore not worth your time to consider, because you fear feeding the perhaps undesirable, to you, outcome of perceived negative probabilities? This material is information given in truth, be it perceived negative or positive in manifested reality. Unfortunately most information presented so far is a result of God's promise to expose the Satans or adversaries who have managed by force and allowance to hold you hostage in illusion of separation against your Creator within you by deception of truth of your power of oneness. When it becomes negative upon self is, when you are no longer ignorant of truth and you still do nothing to change your circumstances, because you would instead rather hide behind your fear and self-perceived helplessness. Is it wrong to make plans for your future in your now? Not, if it corresponds to the positive creative enfoldment of self-improvement and self-expansion of your knowledge and wisdom of truth in your now. You see, your desire to know and serve God will itself propel you ever forward in knowledge and wisdom of truth. And so too, your desire will demand the discipline of self to remain focused on your goal. Let us define discipline. 1. Training the mental, moral and physical powers by instruction, control and exercise. 2. The state or condition resulting from such training. 3. Punishment or corrective action for the sake of training. 4. A branch of knowledge. We would further add herein that there need not ever be punishment of self or another to achieve discipline. Simple integrity of focused attention in gaining wisdom of truth and recognizing and understanding consequences of thoughts and actions given in error are what are necessary to take corrective measures of action, for successful training in godly truth to take place. This scribe has recently heard it said, in order to be a winner, given in reference to a karate competition, you must develop the three Ds. Desire. Devotion. And Discipline. Well, we will ask you each to apply the beautiful simplicity of this statement to yourselves in your goal to overcome the false illusions of the Antichrist and become the winners of attaining your unlimited spiritual freedom by recognizing and reconnecting with the Father-slash-Mother-Creator-slash-Creation within you. Remember, we discussed earlier, how the Antichrist rules you by your desires, meaning for things or attachments of physical illusion. If your only true desire is to know and serve God slash Eden, then where does that leave the Antichrist? Out the door of your space on his behind. Remember this too, precious ones, when you truly ask the Father slash Mother God slash Eden within you for truth, you receive truth. This does not mean you will necessarily like or enjoy what you find, but as long as you remain devoted to the discipline of emotional detachment, such as from feeling paralyzing fear, you will become empowered by the wisdom of the God slash Goddess within you. Does this mean you will never feel fear again? Not necessarily, but you will by your desire, devotion and discipline learn to overcome your fear and take the necessary actions to bring about godly changes, whether it be within self or in situations or experiences put before you. Here is another aspect of understanding fear which you must also recognize. You ones also can experience fear or alarm as a warning mechanism of clear or unclear present danger to you. Fear became the manifestation of your desire for survival on the physical plane, 